Everybody in the Latino community seems to love Walter Mercado, the Puerto Rican astrologer who passed away in 2019 after being a staple on our TVs for various decades. I recently found myself looking at the stars, obviously lamenting Walter's absence, but also wondering how, having been stereotyped as being excessively macho and homophobic, Latino culture came to love a flamboyant, androgynous man. The answer may lie in our love for Latino kitsch. Kitsch and its cousin Kemp are all around us, but they can be hard to understand because they work around irony. Although it's an oversimplification, you could describe kitsch as failed seriousness. Essentially, it can be a trend or a person or an object that unironically tried to make something work, but failed because it was too over the top, behind the times, or entirely out of character. Pure camp or kitsch is always innocent and never self-aware. Otherwise, it becomes a parody. <laughs> There's a particular strain of Latino kitsch that makes it unique, and given our common heritage, it's something that all Latinos can identify with, no matter how different we might be. Besides Walter Mercado, think Carmen Miranda. Also Spanish director Pedro Almodóvar, and even the late Mexican singer Juan Gabriel. El arte femenino es lo que puedo exteriorizar. What was the common factor between all of these artists? They all embraced excess and their aesthetics as part of their identity. That made them bulletproof, and in their own way, very political. Mostly because they used kitsch as a way to highlight our cultural shortcomings, such as homophobia and machismo. It made them cool, which is just another word we use for our heightened sense of identity. In Walter Mercado's case, uh, it was probably easy for us older Latinos to relate to his flamboyant antics because many of us were raised under someone else's excessive looks. Would you like to guess whose? <laughs> There's plenty of examples of Latino kitsch within our very unique culture. There's soap operas. Celia Cruz, anyone? Most recently, reggaeton singers have become unconsciously campy, especially the likes of Maluma and Bad Bunny. There's so much more information we could go over here, but we're keeping this video short and sweet. So for now, make sure to follow The Americano on social media if you would like to see more of this content.